It is polls in the presidential race showing the vice president Harris gaining ground in some swing states and even eroding some of former President Trump's lead in Florida. Our next guest says if the election were held today, she would win. Joining us right now is pollster and political strategist Frank Luntz. That's a that. turn. It's more than that. That's a plot twist. Her, she's bringing out people who are not interested in voting for either Trump or Biden. So the entire electoral pool has changed. And if it continues in, the, in this direction, you have to start to consider Democrats winning the Senate and Democrats winning the House. The actual people who are participating. She's got intensity now. She's got an intensity advantage. She's got a demographic advantage. And I haven't seen anything like this happen in 30 days in my lifetime. How big is that, mar that marginal extra voter that she's bringing in? I mean, how much does that change the pool? One percent, maybe two. That's it. But that's enough. Right. Can I just ask you, though, about the uh, veracity, frankly, of the polls right now? Because you go back and look, and there was an interesting report yesterday showing that if you look at where Donald Trump was in terms of what the, what the polling showed is back in 2016, yep. undercounted. You go even in 2020, undercounted. And so you, know, you start to think about the you know, margin of error situation where maybe she's up you know, one or two percent. But are, you know, is the Trump vote fully counted? But that's why my process is not just to do the numbers. It's also to do the focus groups, to listen, to understand why people feel this way. And now my groups are broken up by young women saying, I'm not voting for him anymore. Make no mistake, there are three attributes, three components. So you think it's a switch? It's not because it, you just said I'm not voting for them anymore. So you think they were voting for Donald Trump? They were, uh, and the, now they're voting for Harris. The people who are undecided have all collapsed towards Harris. The people who are weak Trump have all collapsed towards undecided. It's this broad shift. I'm trying to do a focus group tonight mm -hmm. with undecided voters under the age of 27 for a major news outlet. And I can't recruit young women to this because they don't exist as undecided voters. And the, the, you shift the demographics and you shift the entire outcome. There are issues, attributes, and the conditions of the country. The issues and conditions favor Donald Trump. He should be winning this election. But the attributes are so much in Harris's favor that he's not that the very attributes that Trump offers, and the best example, you did the story on the UAW, why is Donald Trump saying publicly, I want to fire right. the same people that he's getting now, right. still getting, union members? It's ridiculous. It's as though he's lost control. And I know that there are billionaires who watch this show who are spending a lot of money on Donald Trump, and they don't understand why he's committing political suicide. What okay. can he do? Are these problems fixable? It sounds like the reason why women or undecided women are now deciding to vote for Kamala Harris, those are things that cannot be fixed. Yes. <laughs> so there are three issues. Uh -huh. Number one is affordability. We should not call it inflation ever again. It's housing, health care, mm -hmm. food and fuel. And the people that Trump needs cannot afford it either every week or every month. Second, wasteful Washington spending, which you're not talking about anywhere. This was an issue... Over the last eight years, hardworking taxpayers hate it when they see their money being wasted. And third, it's not just immigration, it's safety and security. And I brought the headline here. I look at this. I walked into your office. Yep. I don't know if you can get this. This is the New York Post. It says $5 billion, shocking amount New York City taxpayers have spent on migrants, and it's still going up. And this, this people will look at this and go, damn it. Right. Or even worse, Trump should be winning. But the attributes, there are three things that people are looking for there. By the way, it's a cube. Three different areas, four different components. Number one, who's got results? Trump actually can show it. Trump has the advantage there. Number two, a detailed plan of action, which he's about to release tomorrow. And number three is genuine accountability, which the public thinks no one well, does. Let me ask you a